Dr. Vicki Peterson here. I wanted to talk to you today about a study that was recently done uh, on multiple sclerosis patients uh, as regards their incidence of celiac disease. So as you may know, celiac disease is an autoimmune disease, so is multiple sclerosis. And celiac disease, as well as gluten sensitivity, has a high association with neurological problems. So even though in celiac and gluten sensitivity, you're reacting to a protein found in wheat, rye, and barley. Uh, one would expect primarily digestive symptoms, but in fact, the system that's most commonly affected is the nervous system. And symptoms that even mimic multiple sclerosis, uh, trouble with balance and um, numbness, tingling, neurological type symptoms uh, are seen in celiac disease as well. So this particular study looked at the association and found that in the patients they evaluated for multiple sclerosis, 11% of them, between 10 and 11%, because they analyzed them in two different ways. They did a biopsy, which is a classic test for celiac disease, and then they also did a blood test. The, the two tests they did are not particularly sensitive, actually, so there's probably higher numbers, but let's just look at the study itself because it was exciting in and, in and of itself. This was just done last Last March, and uh, what they found was that between 10 and 11 percent of those women, it was predominantly women that they tested, uh, had celiac disease. So, of course, this is anywhere from five to ten times what we see in the general population, and so a significant increase. They also evaluated these women's first degree relatives and checked them for celiac disease. They found 32 percent of the first degree relatives of the women suffering from multiple sclerosis had celiac disease. Huge numbers here. So. Uh, multiple sclerosis is not as common as celiac disease, it's about a tenth as common, but certainly very debilitating, and where you have one autoimmune disease, you tend to have others. So this permeates a lot of different situations, and very important to know this data, very important for you to know if you have MS or if anyone in your family has MS, that being screened for celiac disease is very, very important. What these researchers found was when they instituted a gluten-free diet, not only did any digestive symptoms improve, but the multiple sclerosis symptoms improved as well. I was very excited to see this because we've seen this in our practice with our MS patients, only to be told by a neurologist that it had absolutely nothing to do with their MS. So it was exciting to see this correlation, and I wanted to pass this on to you because now we have some nice research to support it. So once again, if you're working with a neurologist, if you have any sort of autoimmune disease, especially MS, uh, please take heed of this. Let your friends and family know, and uh, they should absolutely be screened for uh, celiac disease as well as gluten sensitivity to find out if gluten is creating a negative effect on their nervous system that is exacerbating or making worse or prolonging their MS because MS can go into remission. We see it here at the clinic. So I hope this was helpful and until next time I wish you very good health.